Hi, are you ready for some yoga? All right, you know we always do our stretching first. So sit comfortably, either crisscross applesauce, or if that's not comfortable, you can sit with your two legs out in front. If I like to sit with my legs crossed. Okay, I'm gonna put on our music. Now sit up straight and tall. We're gonna close our eyes, because I think you know what to do by now. First, we're going to bend our head forward with our chin down to our chest. And now, bend your head and your neck and go all the way back. And bend it forward again. more time. Lift your head up, 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 and bend it all the way back. Now bring your head straight in the middle. Turn it to the side. Look over one shoulder. And now turn your head and look over the other shoulder. Go back and look over the first shoulder. And now look back over the other shoulder. And now we're going to make a circle. So we're going to do all those movements together. We're going to go down to the side, back to the side, down to the side, back to the side. Now we're going to stop and go the other way. Side, back, side, down, side, back, side, down. Okay, now you can look straight ahead. Put your legs out in front. Now we're going to reach up, 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 up to the sky. Breathe in. And blow it out. Touch your toes. Now hold your feet. Breathe in. And blow it out. Breathe in, blow it out. One more time, breathe in and blow it out. Sit up straight and tall. Let's try it again, reach up to the sky. Breathe in and then blow it out as you touch your toes. Your head down, breathe in and blow it out. Breathe in, blow it out. One more time, breathe in and blow it out. All righty, sit up straight and tall. Last thing we're going to do this is something we started learning, but it was it seems like such a long time ago. We raise our hands up. And then when you blow it out, we put one arm in the front and one, in the, one arm in the back and we blow it out. Breathe in. Turn to the other side and go. Breathe in. Turn and go. Arms up, breathe in. Turn and blow it out. Good job, that's a little bit tricky. Now let's roll our shoulders back. Roll them back. Roll them back. Roll them back. And now the other way to the front. To the front. To the front. To the front. Last time, breathe in, going up. And blow it out and bend down and touch your toes. Hold your feet or your ankles, wherever you can hold. Your feet, your ankles, your shins. Breathe in. Blow it out. Breathe in. Blow it out. Great job, friends.
since it's Earth Day, I thought maybe it would be fun to do some Earth Day yoga. So let's do some poses of things we see out in nature. First, let's do the tree pose. Now remember, we said that the tree pose can be very, very tricky. There's two ways to do it, right? If you want to just do the regular tree, you put your two feet flat on the ground, and you can hold your hands either here in front of you, or you can raise them up and open up some your arms that so that they look like branches. That's a regular tree, but if you want to do the tricky tree, you can raise one, one foot up like this. And remember, when the wind is blowing, the branches blow too, right? And then whatever we do on one side, we always do on the other side. So if you're going to do a regular tree pose, just keep your two feet. Open up your branches. And if you want to do tricky tree, lift up one foot, put it on your, your leg like that. See if you can hold it for a few seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Have you ever gone on a hike? Our next pose is something you might see if you go on a hike. It's a waterfall. And what you need to do is you need to keep your legs straight and then you're gonna bend just your upper body down and let your arms swing down. Bend, 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 bend. Until you touch the floor and you're like a waterfall, the water flowing down the side of the mountain. And you can hang there as long as feels comfortable for you. And then breathe in and start to come up. And then blow it out. Great job, you waterfalls. How about if we do a flower? So go back on your bottom. You have to put your two feet together. Now the flower is another tricky one. You're supposed to wrap your hands underneath your legs and lift them up like that. But I'm thinking, let's just go like this. We'll pretend we're a flower just like this, okay? And your arms can be the petals. Keep your feet together and just bend over. Oh, you look so beautiful. You look like, you look like a garden as I'm looking at you out there. I wonder what color flower you've decided to be. Is it red or purple or yellow or white or pink or orange? You'll have to tell me what color flower you want to be in the garden. So let's breathe in a few times. Breathe in. Blow it out. Breathe in. And blow it out. One more time. Breathe in. And blow it out. For our last pose, let's be a seed. Maybe you want to start a flower from its teeny tiniest seed. So we're going to sit up on our heels with our knees down. And we're going to put our hands by our side and we're going to bring our head down. And we're going to be a little seed growing inside the ground. Put your head down to the floor. Breathe in and blow it out. Breathe in. Blow it out. One more time. Breathe in. And blow it out. And now come up very slowly, very slowly, very slowly. Well, thanks for sharing Yoga Wednesday with me. Thanks for joining me for our Earth Day yoga poses. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, my friends.